It's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and rock cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. We are going to have a fun show for today. We're going to be having John Conniff from the Islander going to be joining us here later in the show. Going to be a lot of fun talking fishing and having a lot of fun doing it. You stay tuned. Lots of great stuff coming up today. Pete Gray not going to be joining us. We heard yesterday from that awesome broadcast down in Mazatlan. He's traveling home, but we have got a whole lot to talk about today. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. The new Shimano Torium HG is here, and you'll be able to experience this fantastic reel now at your local Shimano dealer. The new Torium is up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and is tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of past models. The new Shimano Torium HG is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing with a cross carbon drag providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel. It has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears. The machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easy to crank in the big fish. The new lightweight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control. Available in three sizes, the Torium HG is the next evolution in compact, rigid, and powerful saltwater star drag reels. Get it now at your local Shimano dealers. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. For Rancho Leonero, here's John Ireland. At Rancho Leonero, very seldom are we going to send out any more than 15 or 20 boats at one time or one day. And because the ranch has two specific bait guys, everyone gets bait, everyone gets their boat. The stress level is way down at the ranch. We make it as easy as we can make it. From the meals right on down the line, and very few decisions over the day. And, you know, we've got the Wi-Fi Internet now, and everybody can get on if they want and access their email or, or not. We've, uh, we've been working on the ranch continually. You know, I did a half a million dollar renovation, upgrading the hotel, the bar. So we're working at it. And the most important thing is just our guests and taking care of them. We really appreciate them. So every guest that comes through gets special attention. We make sure they do. We'll guarantee you the best Baja vacation possible. You're in my home, and uh, I'll take good care of you. RanchoLandNarrow.com, old Baja style. Are you as excited about spring fishing as I am? The water stayed warm all winter, which means it's shaping up to be one of the best seasons ever to get out on the water. It's also shaping up to be one of the best seasons ever to visit your Ford dealer. The all-new F-150s are starting to roll in. With over 100 new patents, it's guaranteed to be a game changer. The new Mustang also has everyone buzzing. You've got to check it out. And the new Fusion, Focus, and Escape are better than ever. Fuel efficient and loaded with technology. There's as much interest in these new Fords as there is in spring fishing. In fact, Ford was the most searched automotive brand on Google last year. And once again, it's America's best-selling brand based on 2014 calendar year sales, which makes Ford the brand more people search, buy, and buy again. There's a lot to be excited about this spring, whether you're after tuna, yellowtail, halibut, or a brand new Ford. So visit your San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome! 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a unique start to the show this morning. I'm sure John Conniff is probably on his way in here, but right now I'm rolling a little bit solo with Pete down in the... Coming home from Mazatlan, and John uh, isn't, uh, hasn't joined us yet, but I'm sure he'll be here shortly. So, in the meantime, you're stuck with just me. So, going to be a fun show, and we got a ton to talk about, so the last thing I'm worried about there. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I would say if um, we're going to start the show off a little bit different, if you want to have a question for me, you want to talk some tackle, you want to call the show this morning and give us a catch report, you want to talk about a favorite moment on Let's Talk Hookup, we're just going to roll with it and have some fun for the next couple of hours. I know that uh, you know, I've had a chance to get fishing here a, a fair bit lately, as has Ryan. We're going to have Ryan come in and tell the catch report from him fishing this last week, and we're going to be taking your phone calls. Again, tackle questions, anything in particular that you guys might want to know that uh, maybe I or Ryan could help you with, things about the show, whatever. We're just going to have some fun and wait for John to make it in here so we can talk about the Islander. Certainly happy to answer any Islander questions that I can for somebody, too, that wants to talk about John. And There's lots of great stuff coming up today. We're certainly going to talk more about it, but on the uh, on the the word of the Islander, um, you know, we got to that exciting Let's Talk Hookups uh, Shimano on the water seminar trip coming up aboard the Islander here real soon, and we're going to hear from Ron Lane more later about the show. But that's going to be a fun, exciting time. I know the spots are filling up, but still a couple of spots there, and we're going to also hear from Mark Mills a little bit later on in the show. But one thing uh, note that I could mention along that maybe not a ton of people were aware of is next Saturday, Saturday the 9th at 11 a.m., they're going to be having the Let's Talk Hookup on the Water, uh, Shimano on the Water seminars are going to be having a barbecue at the Shimano Business Center. And it's basically a seminar, it's a barbecue, it's a fun day, it's a free day for anybody who's already signed up on one of the Shimano on the Water seminars. And again, it's going to be the 9th of uh, next Saturday, May 9th at 11 a.m. at the uh, Shimano Business Headquarters up in Irvine there. It's going to be really cool. You're going to get to check out the Shimano area, check out the Shimano buildings. Uh, you're going to get a free barbecue, going to get a free seminar, and it's only for people that have signed up. And if you want to go, what they're asking everybody to do is whatever tackle store you signed up at. So all these Shimano on the water seminars are put on by a tackle store. For instance, if you're going on the Islander on that Let's Talk Hookup kayak trip, which is booked through Fisherman's Landing Tackle, just call Fisherman's Landing and say, hey, that sounds fun. I want to go. I'm going to be there Saturday, May 9th, and just kind of put your RSVP in. And that's just so they know um, the amount of food and, and everything like that to order. So, again, if you're on any of the Shimano Let's Talk Hook Up on the Water seminars, the trips on the San Diego, on the Islander, Oceanside 95, all the great trips out of Dana War Sport Fishing, just call whatever tackle store you booked the trip through. Let them know, hey, May 9th, I want to go, and we will get you in there. And we're going to hear a little bit more from Mark Mills later in the show about talking about that. Um, again, if you want to join the show this morning, if you want to talk to me, ask a question, we're going to have Ryan come in. You want to ask a question to Ryan, there's two ways that you can reach us on Let's Talk Hookup. First is with our local line, which is 858 area code 457-1090. Again, 858-457-1090, that's our local line. Or you can reach us toll-free. That toll-free number is 877-792-1090. One more time, 877 877- 792-1090. Again, those are both the ways. If you want to get through to Let's Talk Hookup, ask a question. We would certainly love to hear from you this morning because I think we're going to be relying on the phones a little bit today. So anyways, like I said, we're just going to have some fun, talk some fishing, get into that. Again, tackle questions, anything that we could do for you, we're certainly happy to do so. And with that, I want to remind you of another fun thing that's coming up with Let's Talk Hookup, and that's our San Diego County Ford Dealers live remote broadcast starting at Encinitas Ford on the corner of Encinitas Boulevard and El Camino Real. Just a couple weeks away now, Saturday, May 16th, from 7 to 9 a.m., it's the first of our Shimano San Diego County Ford Dealers casting contest where you're going to get your first chance to qualify for that big grand prize, which, again, if you didn't hear it before, is an, an unreal opportunity for somebody, and that's a trip to Kingfisher Charters. It's a one-way uh, or <laughs> one way, it's a it's a trip for one to Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, including round trip airfare through Alaska Airlines. So unbelievable prize there for one lucky caller. You're going to get everything that Kingfisher offers, which we've always talked about. The unbelievable fishing. We've got the great uh, charter fleet there with all the comfortable boats, the big aluminum cabin boats, the big Parkers. It's a very, very fun trip, very good fishing. You're going to get all the Kingfisher fish processing, round trip tickets from San Diego to Sitka, Alaska, 
all of that, all included, all the fishing, all the fish processing, and that's just for showing up, making a cast, winning the casting contest, or we take a random draw from every single person in attendance. So whether you make a cast or not, you have an opportunity at winning that great grand prize or a list of other killer prizes, including a trip on the Blackjack, courtesy of Dana Landing and Mission Bay. We're giving away Shimano rods and reels. We have Maui Jim gift cards, an APCO clothing package. Like we said, whether you make a cast or not, you're going to have your chance at winning all these great grand prizes, including that trip to Kingfisher Charters on Alaska Airlines. The Prize Cowboy Gary is going to be there with tons of great giveaways for free. Again, just for showing up, it's the San Diego County Ford Dealers Live Remote at Encinitas, Saturday, May 16th from 7 to 9 a.m. Come by and have a chance to go fishing in Alaska for free, courtesy of Alaska Airlines and uh, Kingfisher Charter. So lots of great stuff to look forward to there. Again, we're going to be taking your phone calls, having lots of fun, and we're going to start off the phone calls this morning with Luke, who Who's calling us from Laguna Niguel? Luke, good morning. Welcome to the show. Well, good morning, Rick, and good morning to John when he makes it in. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I expected to hear from you, Luke, because I know you you like fishing with John and the Islander a whole lot, and hopefully, uh, whatever questions you have, I can relay to John when he when he makes it. Well, first, congratulations to you, and I know it's probably getting to be old news, and you're tired of hearing it, but uh, great for you. But it's even better for the tackle shop. So uh, that was just uh, I was tickled to hear that. Uh, you're part of the. You're really part of the fabric. Now, so well done. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. It's a dream come true. I, I've been working at the tackle store there since. It was my high school job tying albacore feathers, and it's been a. It's been a very fun ride, and to get to be part of the team with Doug and Frank is. A, it really is. It's a dream come true. I, I can't begin to tell you how excited I am about it. So thank you for the kind words. Well, you're welcome. So the, the first thing about the Islander, I wanted to claim some family bragging rights. <laughs> so you'll just have to share. No, this please. With that's what this show is going to be all about. <laughs> So you know, we started fishing that boat in 1968 when my dad took my brother Dick on a seven-day trip. And then the following year, he took me on a seven-day trip. And since then, Dick and his son Josh and my two boys, Ryan and Nick, we've accumulated 224 <laughs> days on that boat. <laughs> that's crazy. I keep track of that stuff. To put it in perspective, that's, that's a burson on the Islander every day for one full season and half of another. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm going to claim rights. I, so, I, I think you've got that claim. So when John shows up, uh, the, the question, uh, I looked at his schedule, and, and it's a little different. He's got 15 two-and-a-half-day trips scheduled. And, and two-and-a-half-day trips just aren't the most common so I thought it would be interesting from his perspective, you know, why do he put so many on the schedule, and why would an angler decide that a two-and-a-half-day trip was the right thing to do? Okay, well, that's certainly a great question, and, and definitely kind of been a cool niche. I got a chance to do one of their two-and-a-half-day trips last year, and uh, as you know, that extra half really allows for the fishing. The cool thing about a two-and-a-half day is if we get lucky like we did last year, this is just my take, obviously, and we, we will definitely talk to, to John about it. If the fishing is the way it was last year, you're just going to have two full sun-up to sundown, daylight to dark opportunities of fishing that fish. What's also cool about the two-and-a-half day is it really gives you quite a bit of range. You know, not having to return until the morning of the following day when you come home or, or, or the half part of the trip um, is going to allow you on a two-and-a-half day to get down to some pretty considerable distance. And the thing that I like about that is, one, you can get away the cra- you can get below the crowd um, with the who knows what might be going on with Mexico and Bluefin or not, but that's a trip like that is going to allow you considerable amount of travel time while still allowing for plenty of fishing time. So if the Bluefin thing doesn't happen right away, maybe it'll uh, afford you to go down into Mexican waters, fish that yellowfin and catch your fish that way, and then have time to travel back up to U.S. waters and fish outside of Clemente like we had that good fishing last year. So I really like the idea of that. Um, being that your your final day, you're going to get to travel home during the dark and into the next morning rather than having to be back at the dock that night. So I, I love the idea of it, especially with the way the setup is this year, which hopefully, as we heard from Pete and the guys at Mazalan yesterday, the Mexico thing sounds like it's really working its way out. And I know Ken is making a lot of effort, and, and uh, hopefully that bluefin will be opened up uh, below the border. But like I said, if it doesn't right away, that's certainly going to allow probably for some pretty darn good variety. 
Well, that's a great answer. I think uh, any angler should take a hard look at that. Yeah. Hey, hey one last question for John is because uh, I don't know this. Uh, his mentors, who were influential in his early career that pointed him towards uh, – ownership in, in one of the you know premier operations in San Diego. Yeah, that's a great question, too. And, you know, with, with that, too, Luke, I, I want to say a, a thanks to you, too. I got copied on an email um, from you and then also from Ryan and, and, you know, a part of the chain of the Dana Wharf Rod and Reel Club, which I know you're a part of. And uh, I really want to uh, give you a, a, a hats off and a heads up for um, when the call came out from Ken Frankie about public comment about the bluefin issue through NOAA. Uh, the show, I don't think the show had ended before I received an email chain of you urging all of your fishing club members and all of your fishing buddies to make that call and make that comment. And I, I can't tell you how important that is. We as fishermen are very passionate about what we do, but admittedly so, and, and trust me, I, I'm part of that same group. We're not as good as we should be about actually getting things done about it. And I really appreciated you you know, sending that link out to all of your buddies and all your fishing friends, because once once you're on the link, it only takes you a couple of seconds to to make your your opinion heard. But we as fishermen sometimes aren't the best at making that happen. So, well, well thanks for the comment, but it's very self-serving. I truly <laughs> like catching and eating bluefin, <laughs> and, and two or less a day. Uh, I'd like a few more than that. I'm I'm with you on that. And why I got you on the line, since we've got plenty of time. I uh, I just wanted to say that uh, maybe you could make a couple words about another trip that's coming up next year, but I know that I got to enjoy it with you this year, and that was our trip down on the Journeyman out of Puerto Vallarta this year, and I really enjoyed fishing with you and, and Ryan and the, the whole gang, um, but uh, pretty uh, pretty different, unique, and a pretty cool trip, wouldn't you say? Well, it, it, it's it's a, it's a, an experience that, that I had never had, fishing on a true luxury yacht. And with with a group that were had, were just the best at big fish and caught more big fish than anybody, uh, it was a, a unique experience. And, and for me to walk on a boat without any tackle, what was unique. But then after the trip to realize if I would have brought any tackle, it would have been stupid. <laughs> I know you are like I am and very particular about the gear that you have. Both, you know, you make an investment in your tackle and you like it to be done right. And I always tell people that same thing for if there's a trip that I'm comfortable not bringing any rods and reels on, it says something. And, and I certainly know that you are exactly the same. And it's pretty amazing the amount and quality of gear that's aboard that journeyman. And it truly is. You, you really do. You need a backpack and flip-flops and a, and a good attitude, and you're going to have a good time. Well, it, the other part that surprised me, we, we combined a family vacation with the journeyman trip. So uh, the, the, the boy, Ryan's wife went, Nick's girlfriend went, and, and Mary my wife and the mother of all these guys went, and we spent five days before in Puerto Vallarta, and what a great experience that was! It, it echoed what you heard yesterday about Mazatlan. It's it's clean, it's friendly, it's safe, and it's affordable. So it, making it a combo trip just gave us a great time. We were there for ten days. It yeah, was, it's cool, it was spectacular, and a cool way to mix some family fun with pulling on big fish. And it's a very unique opportunity. There's not many places or, or trips where you can have an opportunity catching a 200-pound yellowfin tuna in such a short amount of time. I mean, you fly down, you hop on the boat, and literally the next day you're you're in cow country, and, and it's pretty darn cool. A couple of days, sun up to sun down, and if the fish give you the opportunity, that boat is, is poised and ready to make it happen. Yeah, yeah no, that, was a, that was a hoot. I, I agree. Well, Luke, I sure appreciate the phone call, and uh, we will make sure to do our best to pass on uh, the questions to John there when he makes it. And appreciate the phone calls and had a lot of fun fishing with you. Yeah, see you again. All right, Luke, thanks a lot for the phone call. Well, hey, we're going to take a real quick break, but again, make your phone calls. We would love to hear from you. We're going to have Ryan in here, myself, talking tackle, talking fun. And not only are we going to be taking your phone calls, we've also got a really cool prize today, too. If you want to give us a call this morning, 858 area code. 457-1090 or toll free at 877-792-1090. Both of those lines open right now and one lucky caller at the end of the show today is going to win an AFCO performance package that includes those AFCO performance shorts. We've got one of those great AFCO sun protection shirts and that great AFCO face mask. A package worth close to $150 courtesy of our good friends at AFCO. We're going to be giving that away at the end of the show. We want to take your phone calls. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hook Up. It's your show today right here on the Mighty 1090. She says you 
Spring Hub. The ultimate one-stop shop for everything you need for a great day on the water is Dana Landing in Mission Bay. Dana Landing has the best in six-pack fishing, featuring several boats, including the new Double Down, perfect for two to four anglers, and the Impulse that will carry up to six anglers in comfort and style. Dana Landing has a huge tackle shop with everything you need to go fish bay bass, tuna, or marlin, plus expert anglers on staff to help. They even have Mexican and California fishing licenses. The deli at Dana Landing is a local's favorite with legendary sandwiches, salads, and more, plus all the ice and beverages you need. When it comes to freshwater tackle, East County Bait and Tackle is the spot for everything you need for a great day on the lake. The ultimate in rods and reels, the latest freshwater lures and live bait. ECBT has a staff second to none when it comes to giving great advice and sharing their passion for fishing. East County Bait and Tackle is at the end of the 67th Freeway on Maple View in Lakeside. And Dana Landing is right across from SeaWorld next to the Dana Launch Ramp in Mission Bay. Check DanaLanding.com for more details. For over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619 224 57 or see them on the web at redrooster3.com. When it comes to tackle storage, it's got to be Flambeau with several new products designed just for anglers. Check out the new H2O soft tackle system, now available in three sizes, complete with tuftainers, the finest plastic tackle storage containers with Z Rust, which has proven to be the best protection against rust and corrosion. Flambeau Tackle System's new AZ tackle system has flexible designs to match your type of fishing, and for travel, protect your rods with a Tough Bazooka Rod Carrier. Flambeau, available at Turner's Outdoorsman, Sport Chalet, and other fine tackle retailers. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now 18 stores throughout Southern California and three in San Diego County. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood, Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Phone lines are packing up. Everybody's got their questions coming, and we're going to be taking those phone calls again. If you want to get through, 858-457-1090. Open right now. Your chance at winning that APCO performance package. And before we do that, we're going to talk to another Let's Talk Hookup crew member, and that's our good buddy Dave Dolan, who, Dave, I know just got back from one of those great Tony Reyes trips. Good morning, Dave. Hey, good morning there, Rick. Yeah, I got back yesterday afternoon. My two buddies and I did the six-day Let's Talk hookup trip out of San Felipe fishing the the, uh, Sea of Cortez down there, the Midriff Islands, and uh, what a trip. Uh, How cool is that? Is that not – is there any more fun than doing that? It's such a great Baja experience. You know, you're down there in those Midriff Islands. You know, if you love the Sea of Cortez and Baja, just the scenery alone, it can be a natural history trip. But then again, the fishing was just off the charts. It was – Pretty much half and half divided between the yellowtail and the cabrilla. Good quality on it. I think the top yellowtail went about a 36. There were plenty of uh, cabrilla. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Did you say 36? Yep. Uh, you I just skipped, those... skipped over that? That's awesome, Dave. Right. Yeah, there was plenty of quality there. And then the cabrilla, too, there were a lot of, like, in the 12-pound range. And those are just a phenomenal fish to catch. But um, there were other in, in the catch, but probably 90% of the catch was divided between the yellowtail and cabrilla. But, um, gosh, we were the only boat in the area. It's just such a great Baja experience because it's so untouched down there. And um, the boat's in really good shape. You know, there were some problems last year with getting a permit. Right. Right, but he's got all the permits set up, and so everything's all in order there. 
And I know uh, people may have some apprehensions about doing a boat out of Mexico, but Tony just runs a really first-class operation. The boat is clean. There's six heads of boats aboard the boat. They're clean twice a day. The food is just off the charts good. In fact, one afternoon, they made probably about a three-gallon bowl full of the ceviche that we caught. And that went quick. But, um, yeah, everything is just first-rate about the boat. No problem at all. And I do know that the uh, Let's Talk hookup trip is already online for next year at the same time. It's already about half full, and um, I wouldn't hesitate to go on it again. It's a great trip, great value. You know, that's the other thing, too, like you say, is value. I mean, there are very rare opportunities to do a full six-day trip, all the meals included, um, for for as as little as they are, barely over a thousand dollars. It's a lot of fun and uh, and a really cool time and such a unique experience too. It's it kind of mixes a little bit of adventure with the cool fishing. The food is taken care of and you get to see so much of those midriff islands and the most killer Baja sunsets and a cold Pacifico and they are such a fun trip, Dave. I'm really happy for you. It sounds like a good one. What was the uh, what was the means of most of the yellowtail catching? Were you guys Yo-yo jigging or Apollos or bait fishing or how how did uh, how did most of the yellowtail catching go down? Yeah, most of the yellowtail we caught were on trolling, and a lot of some of them were caught on the jig, and then we uh, cut up some of the smaller fish for cut bait. Unfortunately, we tried to catch bait; it just wasn't there to be had. But um, the fish aren't too choosy down there, you know. Don't bother <laughs> bring a thirty-pound chest; everything's forty and above. That's and awesome. And also about everything that's included there. The one thing that's really unique. All your beer is included too. I was going to say, if you you put Ryan on that trip, he might uh, they might have to start raising the price up a little bit. Yeah, well, he never ran out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, well, it sounds like you guys had an awesome trip, and that Cabrilla fishing is another thing too. Again, we we just mentioned it, but boy, that Cabrilla is as much, if not more, fun than the yellowtail fishing. One of my favorite fishing moments ever was same trip that you're talking about there, and, and in fact, exact same time of year was uh, we would have our Pongero drive us about a casting distance away from all the small little rock outcroppings and just, you know, cast swim baits and cast wax wings and surface iron and tatty 45s into the rocks. And the thing that I can visually remember the most is you would you would land your bait, whatever it was, up into the shallows right where the water's lapping up against the rock, start turning the handle and swimming the thing back and see these brown clouds of fish coming out to clobber it and... And we we use the term all the time, but it really is. It's like calico bass fishing on steroids. Oh, it certainly is. Yeah, as far as, you know, the fish there casting in the rocks, there was time we had cabrilla and also yellowtail swimming under the boat. There were so many of them, it looked like the bottom was moving. <laughs> That's it's awesome. Unbelievable. It's like fishing in an aquarium. And how about the drive-in? Uh, fairly easy. I know that they had been doing quite a bit of road work on the way down to San Felipe. How was your, uh, how was your trek down? Oh, it's 60, 70 miles an hour the whole way. You know, from San Felipe... We left San Felipe probably 8.30. We were back over the border just before about a quarter to 12. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, Dave. Well, sounds like a fantastic trip. I'm glad you enjoyed it as you did. Sounds like there was a lot of good fishing and a lot of good fun to have between you and all the guys. And like you said, next trip is already available. All those trips, again, for Tony Reyes are booked through the Longfin. If you want to check out the longfin.com, get a little more information. I know that we'll have that up on our website uh, very shortly once Pete uh, gets back in town. I'm sure he'll put the particulars up on our website. But you said it best, Dave. Those trips always fill, and they fill for a reason. They're very affordable. They're very good fishing, and they're the only opportunity to do something like that, and they always sell out. So if it's something you think you want to take advantage of, I, I couldn't say it enough. you got to just jump on it. That's right. You know, if you love Baja, you love Sea of Cortez, there's, there's nothing that can, can come close to this trip. Yeah, and you got that for sure. Well, Dave, hey, appreciate a great report. Good job. Thanks for being our representative and having a great time down there, and appreciate the phone call. We'll look forward to talking to you real soon. See you later. Man. All right, Dave, thanks a lot for that. Hey, phone lines are getting packed up. Again, if you want to get through, 858-457-1090. Open right now. All the toll-free lines are packed up, but we do have that local line, 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety. Let's talk to Cameron, calling us from Wildemar. What's up, Cameron? Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for uh, taking my call, man. First, I just want to say I love your show. Uh, me and my son listen to you guys all the time. Uh, just wanted to share a quick little story of our first trip out on the uh, Daiwa through H and M. All right, love to hear it, Cameron. We uh, went down to the Coronado Islands. Uh, my son and I. He's eleven, and let me tell you, he is definitely uh, hooked on fishing for sure. We uh, stopped. It was kind of spotty. My son was the third person on the boat to hook up with a yellowtail. All right. 25-pounder on 25-pound test. <laughs> uh, 
We proceeded throughout the day to catch 10 yellowtail between he and I. My son caught six of them. Wow, that's awesome. He caught six of them. Before we went home, the captain, I, I can't remember his name, but he was so awesome. He came down, shook my son's hand, looked him in the eye and said, you're going to make a good skipper someday, son. <laughs> and, my, and my boy was just beaming with confidence. So I just wanted to share that. We finally got to experience the, the bloody deck scenario. Uh, we, we brought home plenty of fish. My wife was happy. We were happy, and it was just a great day on the water. That's so rad. What an awesome story, Cameron. I'm certainly glad to hear that. And Good weather, good fishing, and, uh, I mean, sounds like he was already hooked beforehand, but it sounds like your boy is uh, is hooked for permanently for now. If you can, um, and this goes out to everybody that's listening to you, you got a cool photo like that, especially if your son with all those yellows, shoot it over to us. Shoot it, and we'd love to put it up on the website um, at uh, hookup1090.com. You can find a link that you can email the photos right over to us on the front page there. You can always send it to Pete. Uh, his email is uh, Pete at hookup1090.com. But, yeah, send us the photo, man. We'd love to put it up there for him. And what a cool day and what a fun experience with your son. Was it mostly sardine fishing, or how how were you guys catching all your yellows? Sardine fly line, man. Awesome. Sardine fly line. It was awesome. How cool, Cameron. Well, I'm really happy for you, and good for you for taking uh, your son on a trip like that. And it sounds like it's a memory that both of you guys aren't going to forget. And I totally appreciate the report, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely send that picture over to you. Thanks. Cameron, appreciate the phone call. Thanks very much for that. Well, let's head to a place where another lot of memories are made and a lot of cool photos get taken, and that's probably my favorite place in the whole world, and that's Rancho Leonero. And we got the man. Gary's on the line this morning. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, guys. How's it going up there? Uh, doing great. Life is good. There's fish biting, and we're just wanting to know what's going on at Rancho Leonero. Well, I'll tell you what. You got me this week. John's out fishing. Uh, and good reason too. I tell you what, with the fish turn, fishing turned around after the lows of last week. You know, it was pretty slow leading up to last week, but things turned around big time on Friday. I mean, it really the, the marlin are back on the bite. Uh, the dorado around. Uh, the sea's beautiful. The weather's great. There's good bait available. Caballitos and ballyhoo. Unfortunately, the sardines that were available down in Frailes they dried up this week, which made it tough on the on the bottom fishing. But we had a little tournament over the weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and uh, the winning boat was uh, Bruce Borgreave on Regalo, the boat Regalo. Bruce and his son Judd, they released eight striped marlin over the two days. Oh, wow. They won the tournament. So it looks like things are back to normal in the billfish department. That's fantastic. Boy, especially for a uh, you know, fairly early season there in May to have eight fish over a two-day stretch. Sounds like some incredible fishing, Gary. Yeah, no, it's good fishing. I was really, really thrilled to have the fishing back. I think we went for a good summer. There were also some dorado around in the same area. Not a lot of big fish yet, but uh, they're plentiful. Also a lot of wahoo caught between uh, Punta Colorado and the lighthouse. Uh, you know, a lot of the fish that were hitting those uh, slow troll belly, and of course you get a lot of short bites on those. They chopped off a lot of baits. But there were some nice fish taken. Uh, Captain Santos, he did real well in the in El Rincon, you know, in the bay past the lighthouse. He really got some good roosters this week in the 40 to 50 pound class. But, you know, the pompano bite fell off a little bit with the sardines. You know, it's tough without the small bait. The fly fishermen had a good time. They had excellent action on Big Jack Cravel this week. Also had a lot of fun with the skipjacks out there. There are big schools of skipjack everywhere. This makes for great fishing for the fly fishermen. But all, all in all, a really, really good week, uh, you know, saved by the weekend, actually. But I'm glad to see it's turned around. So we look forward to a great summer and looking forward to seeing all our regular guests down here pretty soon. Gary, that's awesome, boy. Certainly some good fishing to be had. And, you know, since we, uh, we're, we're, we're filling some time, I got two questions for you, if it's all right. And I'd love to hear your take sure. on them since we don't have as much. And, and we get this in the tackle store a lot. I know, I know Ryan and myself both get a question. A lot of people always going down to the ranch and, you know, they hear you and John calling, so they come by, uh, calling in the reports and they come by the tackle store and always ask the same thing. And it seems like two fish that are on a lot of people's list to catch are a wahoo and a rooster fish. And I know that those are both two things that a lot of people want to check off. And all the time we always get the, what's a great lure if I want to try and catch a rooster fish? And I know that a rooster is a tough nut to crack, not you know when you're not fishing live bait. But if you being a rooster fish guy, and I know how much you like fishing them from the surf, if a guy was going to pick up something to bring down with the, the thought and want of getting a rooster, what, uh, what advice would you give him? Well, well, number one, uh, the the lure you need is something that you can get out there, you know. So you want something that casts well, so it needs a little bit of weight to it. Um, you know, it's no point in having the fish 25 yards out, but you can't cast 25 yards because the lure is too light. Sure. So I like those ranger-style lures that skim across the water. 
And, you know, uh, you, you can retrieve as fast as you want. If the rooster wants it, he's going to grab it. Uh, you know, you won't reel, reel as fast as a rooster swims. And the mistake a lot of people make is trying to let, allow the fish to catch the bait. Well, that's not natural. You need to retrieve much faster, you know, so it excites the fish a little bit more. But in the really clean water like we have a lot of the time of the year, artificials don't work as well. Uh, I mean, uh, plastics and, and things like don't work as well as flies. Flies actually work really, really well because they have a natural action. And But the only downside is you can't get them out as far sure. as you want to sometimes. So I would say any of those lures that skim across the top of the water, I'm not sure of all the, the names of, the, you know, of those kinds of lures. Now that rain, know, those rangers are one of them. The ranger is what we've always sent people down with as well. And for those that aren't familiar, the ranger is almost like a cross between a popper and a surface iron. You know, it's that exactly. It's it's a it's a, a single hook in the back, kind of teardrop in shape. But you know, they make a three and even a four ounce. So like you say, you can bomb them way off the beach. But when you start winding, they kind of skip and stutter. They don't swim like a traditional iron would, but more of a skip and pop and. Uh, you know, kind of quick flash uh, uh, over the surface. Would, would you say that's right? Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. And that's that's kind of the action that a rooster fish chases, almost like he's chasing a fly fish or a, or a, a you know a bait coming out of the water. They they get real aggressive on on the fast lures. You know, it's much better if the water is a little chopped up, or the fish are competing for bait. You know, then kind of anything works. You know, but you know, my experience has been those kind of lures, especially the ones you can you can cast out there. Because you're retrieving fast, you need a little bit of real time. So, you know, you want to cast a little further. Don't give them a chance to look at it. It's got to be zipping right by them, and they got to make the decision. I'm either going to eat that or it's going to be gone, and I'm mm-hmm. not going to have a chance. Yep, you got that. All right, well, with what with that really good info, Gary, appreciate that. And one last thing, what about Wahoo? If a guy really was hoping to catch a Wahoo, is is there a particular uh, jig that you would send a guy down with? Is it a Rapala? Is it a Marauder? Is it a, a rig Ballyhoo? Yeah, absolutely. Those two both work well. Uh, Rapalas and Marauders. You know, the big the big thing is you're making sure you don't get bitten off. You know, so you you've got to put a bit of steel on on both of those. Um, as far as bait goes, you kind of got to take your chances. You know, the bait don't swim that well with the steel if you put steel on the sure. on, on the bait. You know, so uh, you kind of got to take your, your your luck when you're trolling a, a ballyhoo. You know, often you'll hook them and they'll bite it off. And a lot of the time, because the ballyhoo are so long, you know, they'll get chopped off behind the head. Sure. Quite a lot of the time. Awesome. And they don't swim well if you if you rig them up with, with other hooks on the bait. You know, if you've got a stinger hook at the back, sometimes the bait doesn't swim that well. So it's a kind of a playoff with the two, you know. So That's great info, Gary. Well, geez, can't tell you how much we appreciate that. I know that's probably the most common questions we get asked about the ranch and appreciate you taking the time to do that. And if somebody wants to go down and get in on that crazy good early season fish, and I, I still can't believe that, you know, already having boats catching eight marlin over two days, Sounds like there's really good opportunities and really good fishing to be had. If somebody wants to get in both on the early season or just book their favorite room for the rest of the season, how do we do it, Gary? Well, call into our office, uh, 800 number, 646-2252, or log on to our website, www.rancholeonero.com, and follow follow the signs to Rancho Leonero. Awesome. Gary, appreciate it. Very great report. Thanks for keeping us in the loop and really good information. Really appreciate it, Gary. Okay, guys. All right, appreciate that. Hey, when we come back, we're going to be taking more of your phone calls. Lots more Let's Talk Cook Up coming your way. Again, it's a show for you. Phone calls, catch reports, questions, anything you want. We would love to hear from you this morning. Two ways you can reach us, 858 area code 457-1090 or toll free 877-792-1090. More Let's Talk Cook Up coming your way on the Mighty 1090. from Mammoth Lakes, California. Come on up, the water's fine, is what the Eastern Tier is touting. And in Mammoth Lakes, it's much more than just the water. This summer, our four lakes will be stocked with almost 16,000 pounds of healthy fighting trout. From fishing and biking to hiking and horseback riding, there's a legendary story waiting for adventurers of all ages in Mammoth Lakes. Start planning your next adventure at visitmammoth.com. That's visitmammoth.com. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa and top-of-the-line resort amenities. 
Van Warmer Resorts have become a destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. All right, it's time to talk about great products from Shimano. And while we've been on the subject of that Great Islander Charters, all the, the kayak trips that are going on, main target of fish of target on those great kayak trips is that great calico bass fishing in San Clemente. And I don't know that there is a cast and retrieve artificial reel for calico bass than that Corrado 300. It's been around for a while and something that should never be off our radar, as I feel it is the best low-profile reel that has ever been created for that style of fishing. Very comfortable, fits in your hand very well. The variable braking system, which is the basically the cast brake system that's on the left side of the spool, makes it incredibly easy to cast for anglers of all skill sets, too. If you've got a kid, a, a friend that's maybe not as experienced in casting as yourself, with one quick turn of the left side plate, you can turn all the casting brakes on and make it extremely easy for a, a new angler to cast a conventional style reel. Lots of power, lots of line capacity, and extremely smooth reels, and at a price it doesn't kill your budget. It's the Corrado 300E. Check it out at your local tackle store, or for more information, check out Shimano.com. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For over 20 years, AFCO has been known for its traditional fishing shorts. We now will also be known for our new line of next-generation fishing and board shorts. Our new M82 tactical fishing shorts feature quick-dry, high-tech, two-way stretch fabric, zipper fly, six functional pockets plus pliers pocket, sublimated camo print, and our DWR finish so your shorts don't get stained. Also new to the AFCO line are the M25 Stingray board shorts. Shorts. The Stingray board shorts feature new, quick-dry, four-way mind-stretch fabric, modern zipper fly, two technical high-cargo pockets with inverted zippers, silicone-printed draw cords, along with our DWR finish to repel stains. Both shorts are new to the AFCO line and come in a variety of colors and sizes. These technically advanced fishing and board shorts continue AFCO's long tradition of providing the world's finest fishing and board shorts. Check them out today at Better Shops Everywhere. XRFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. Padres are playing some kind of baseball. San Diego's sports leader, the Mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Hey, it's time to find out what's biting on the water. It is time for the Catch Port, which today is sponsored in part by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Get the finest fish processing while you wait from your local, your long range, or your private boat trip. They have taken the San Diego processing business to all new levels with superior service, superior product, and innovations like pre-booking your orders and that great new tuna burger. Fend them on Facebook at Fisherman's Processing, or for more details, check Fisherman'sProcessing.com. We're going to go up to Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Willie's on the line. What's up, Willie? Hey, good morning. What's happening? We're How are you? Living the dream this morning, Willie. Awesome. We're doing really good. Good. Holding it down. Yes. Good to hear. Good to hear. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, man, we had to kind of push through uh, a few bumps in the road this week. You know, that we kind of had to work a little bit harder than uh, – we would have liked to this week. Uh, some breeze this good, week. Yeah, we had some good wind Thursday and Friday. Man, it had the water's temperature way down. It's like the first time it's been below 60 since, like, January. So, guys were fishing some chilly water yesterday, 57, 58, kind of like that. So, I imagine that stuff uh can take a few days for the, the green to get out of it and the, the temps to get back uh, where they were above 60. So, But uh, before the wind, at the beginning of the week, uh, you know, three-quarter day boats have been fishing at uh, the bottom. It's been uh, pretty darn good and pretty steady uh, down on that deeper, hard bottom. Some guys going home with some good bags of, uh, you know, good fish, good taco meat and whatnot. A little tighter and in on the shallow uh, areas there on the hard bottom and left up some of the kelp, but it's been pretty steady for uh, the kelp bass action. Um, some good fly line sardine fishing. And uh, a couple of days we were able to get the boat in uh, pretty close to some rocks and whatnot, and then we had some good fish on the, the fly line sardine out on the fly line mackerel. So, some good bass fish. We're hoping that stuff kind of recovers and bounces back to where it was. Today out on the Clemente, it's uh, the fish-off for our Dana War Palibut Derby. All right. Uh, so we'll see if someone's going to go home with uh, almost 1900 bucks if they Jeez. catch the biggest fish. So the big fish, uh, 
went to Norm Bell. He won uh, half of the prize money, so he already has his 1850 bucks in his pocket for that fish. So hopefully someone goes home today on the Derby Fish Off with the other half of that. And uh, We're going to be out all week. Uh, we've got three-quarter day trips scheduled, half-day trips scheduled. So whatever fits uh, the angler's schedule, we'd love to have you out with us. Uh, it's a good fishing to be had over at Catalina, too. So we, uh, we've got the whole thing rolling. So give us a call to landing. Phone number there is uh, 949-496-5794. You can check us out on the web, of course, at danawarf.com. And then if you want to save a few dollars on a local trip, link us right there through the Let's Talk Cookup web page, and I'll take you over, and you can uh, book reservations from there. Great info on that one, Willie. And while we got a few minutes again, got some extra time, if you don't mind us asking, what if uh, we could bug you for a question? So a guy going this week, like you say, the, the water had a little bit of roll to it, but still certainly plenty of fish to be had and plenty worthy of being there. Faced with less than ideal conditions, what you know, put yourself in the angler's shoes. What what can a guy do to maybe help increase his chances? Is it a drop in line size? Is it a drop in bait? Is it just making sure that you're following all the regular rules of having a good bait and a fresh bait and paying attention? Is if you could put yourself in an angler's shoes when he's coming into rebuilding conditions, is there a bit of advice you could give us? Well, that, that's a, that's a, there's some great stuff. You know, when the water is cold, obviously the fish is metabolism is down, right? They just they go from wanting to feed to not wanting to feed. So subtleties are are going to be key. You know, uh, recognizing bites I think is a key part too. Uh, you, you're not going to get the the aggressive strike a lot of times when the water is cooler. You're going to get more of a, a pressure bite, right? That's so a good call. We tell people, hey, if you feel something that doesn't feel right, set the hook, you know, give, give it a shot. You, you, you never know. It could be a bite. And certainly a drop in line size would, would, would be a good call too. Eight, 10 pound, you know, strip a squid on a, on a small sliding egg sinker kind of a deal. We definitely probably get you a few bites. You know, the fish aren't going to be pursuing the, the bigger live baits like they would, uh, you know, when the water's warmer. So just adapt a little bit like that, you know, some top water stuff probably isn't going to work. You know, you're not going to get the bites on the swim bait in the upper part of the water column. You're going to have to bounce them around real slow across the bottom and, you know, try and get your bites that way until things kind of turn around and water warms up. Good tip. So cooler water, the fish are slowing it down a little bit. You need to make sure that your bait is slowed down to that same pace that they are. There you go. That's it. Uh, you're not going to get those big heavy reaction bites. You're just going to be slow, little subtle, subtle bites. Right on. Good info, Willie. Appreciate that very much. Thanks for the little heads up there. That's some pretty killer info. And if somebody, again, wants to come fishing, jump on any of the great trips at Dana Wharf. One more time, shoot us a phone number. We can make our reservations. Cool. Thanks, Rick. The number of the landing, guys, is 949-496-5794. Then, of course, on the web at danawharf.com. Right on. Thanks, Brian, Willie. Appreciate a great report. We'll look forward to talking to you next week. All right. Have a good one. All thanks, right. Rick. Thanks a lot, Brian. Appreciate that. Well, as we're waiting for our surf guru, Gundy Gunderson, to check in, that is going to wrap up our catch report temporarily. Again, sponsored in part by Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature Charts. Terrafin charts give you the latest in water conditions, and they help you catch more fish and save fuel. Terrafin charts are helpful all year round to find the best water conditions. Check out the new and improved Terrafin Mobile for your Apple or Android device. You can take Terrafin with you everywhere you go, all for the same low price. For more information, go to terrafin.com, and you can always talk to Jeff and the whole gang, and they will hook you up with the info. And one thing that I will say, if you haven't checked out that Terrafin Mobile already, I know Terrafin charts are the most popular charts all of our sport fishing captains, we always see the guys coming in at night, checking the water charts before they go the next day. That Terrafin Mobile, especially if you're a tablet user, is awesome to have on the boat. Essentially, you can go on the night before, download the chart in a very easy-to-use app, then you can turn the GPS on on your mobile device, and it basically works almost like an extra chart plotter. You can physically see your boat moving across the water chart and getting into the warm water. It's a it's a great tool that the guys came up with at Terrafin, and it doesn't cost you any more money. It's included in your one-year membership to Terrafin.com, so a very, very cool app if you haven't seen it already. Hey, let's continue on with our catch report. We're going to talk to the Bay Man, Captain Al Clowers on the line. What's up, Al? Good morning, Rick. How we doing? We're doing great. Right. Actually, just recouping a little bit. I fished night, another night tournament last night. I got a couple hours of sleep, and then I got up to talk to Let's Talk Cookup. <laughs> I like it, Al. Sounds like yeah. there's, there's. I know that you've had some good fishing this week, so plenty to talk about. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all about yellowtail on uh, the island fishing on uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I'll tell you what, man. You know, for the smaller grade in those days, those four days period, you know, the six to 15 pounders was pretty much wide open. You know, I had uh, four people on the boat and they had limits. And then three of those days, we threw back like 20. 
jeez. And, uh, yeah, it was really cool stuff, you know. Um, some new anglers on the board, um, some females on uh, on board, you know, that fished all around different charters and stuff, and they were just, like, beside themselves. They, you know, <laughs> the fish have to show up to make it a perfect day. And, you know, one thing we're doing, basically slow trolling, you know, a couple sardines, and there's so many fish around, those smaller ones, that they'd start boiling on the baits. The rods would go off. They'd both be hooked up, and I'd grab that surface iron that fire way back there. And uh, I was catching them on the surface iron there, too. So first fish to hit the deck, I'd just hand them the surface iron rod, you know. So <laughs> it, was, cool. it was like epic, epic stuff, you know. And then I guess Friday the wind, I didn't get out Friday or Saturday, and I guess it took a dive on, on Friday. I don't know what happened out there yesterday, but... You know, that stuff is going to bounce back really good, and, and uh, hopefully I get the schedule filled up and uh, we get back out there. You know, and the bay stuff, I was just looking at the Grunion schedule. The Grunion is starting to run tonight for the next four nights. So um, the bay bites still, still the same, you know. The spotties are eating the Berkeley Gulf shrimp on the half-ounce lead head on the 10-pound uh, uh, power, power Pro with a 15-pound top shot. Um, there's some halibut around. The bonefish have been really, really munching good this week and, uh, actually for like the last three weeks. Getting from like nine to thirteen bonefish in a few hours. Wow. Most of the days, you know, anchored, a little bit of chum in the water and, uh, get them to the boat and they start going crazy just, just, just with the ghost shrimp or actual, actually nowadays we're using cocktail shrimp. <laughs> so if you're not catching no fish, you can still eat. <laughs> but, it, but it's just a little, the little tiny cocktail shrimp you can buy. You can buy in the store because you can take 500 pieces out there instead of 50, like fish and game won't let you have on the grocery. You know? There you go, Al. Well, certainly some good fishing, and that bonefish is a lot of fun. If somebody hasn't caught themselves a local California San Diego Bay bonefish on light tackle, they're a blast. I mean, they scream line off the reel, and you fish them on your on your trout rods, and a lot, a lot of fun. And if somebody hasn't done it, you, you just got to go do it. And they can go fishing with Captain Al for a very inexpensive cost. They're, the the bay days are, are cheap and a lot of fun, and you get a lot of variety. And just to go down there with a, a buddy or two and go catch those bonefish is totally worth it. They're, they're a blast. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rick, one other thing, you know, I was listening to you guys' show. I, try, I tried to chime in with Pete down there. You know, I've been down um, to Masalan a few times. Not actually to Masalan, but this place called uh, El Cardone. Okay. And uh, one one thing they were missing a little bit, I was going to, I was going to, I was giving a, a heads up down there that there's a killer surf break at El Cardone down there. And we go down there surfing, and there's a hotel right there, and there's two big old left points on the south swell. And you can surf, and then you can go bass fishing or whatever, or go saltwater fishing like they were talking about, you know. And I'm the kind of guy, as you know, in San Diego that does everything. So they were talking about the big, the awesome bass fishing down there, bass fishing in the morning, saltwater fishing in the afternoon. That's me here in San Diego. I mean, they <laughs> call me. I'm serious. They call me. I could hook the ranger up, take him on a killer topwater bite, which is going off the lakes right now. Come home, unhook that boat, hook the big boat up, and we can go fish till dark in the big pond. So, I love it, man. That sounds yeah. awesome, Al. If somebody oh, wants yeah. to take advantage of any of those trips, the yellowtail at the islands, the bonefish in the bay, freshwater fishing, everything in between, Al, how do we get a hold of you? Yeah, 619-800-FISH, or you can go to my website at captainclowers.com or go to Let's Talk Hook Up and pull me out from there, Rick. Right on, Al. Great job. Great report. Appreciate it very much. We look forward to talking next week. Okay, buddy. Good All right, Al. Good Thanks a lot for that. Appreciate that. Now it's time for the surf guru. Gundy Gunderson is on the line. What's up, Gundy? Hey, how's it going today? Rolling solo today, Gundy. I'm rolling solo. You did a hell of a job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gundy. I appreciate it. We're having fun. It's going to be a fun show today. We're just going to hang out and talk fishing. Hey, I got something to talk about here. Fantastic week of fishing, Pete. I mean, uh, Rock God, the, uh the halibut thing, especially, uh, you know, we're talking about the bay fish, and let me work my way down there. I'll start up yeah. north here. The perch bite is, is now in full swing, and it's all on those northern beaches. Uh, reported hook, line, and sinker. There's been lots of fish in the two-pound class, lots of fish pushing two pounds. All the traditional stuff is working, those gulp two-inch sandworms, the grubs, motor oil, red flakes, been a hot color, motor oil. Uh, even the lucky craft, the smaller lucky craft are working on those big perch. East Beach, Goleta, Silver Strand, Seaward, all the northern beaches, lots of spawners. You get those spawning perch that are, you know, 
full of babies, you want to get them right back in the water as quick as possible, take a quick photo or whatever. Those are some really good fish. Wiley's reported nice mixed bag fishing in the rocky areas there, cabazon, calico bass, sargo, rockfish, opali, all taking cut squid, uh, mussel, fresh mussel, three pounds, six ounce opali. I was checked into the shop there yesterday, caught off Las Flores on a mussel there. Oddball catch of the week, 14 pound striped bass taken no off the beach. On a sand crab. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, 14-pounder, you know, that's a fantastic fish. I, uh, I've never heard of one on the sand crab. Fantastic. Big fish and seal beach reported spot fin sargo bite. Continues really good off the pier. Ghost shrimp, fresh muscle fish outside the breakers. Then the ticket, some nice spot fin to five, some sargo to four, real good quality. Halibut bite's been good for those guys off the inlet, the wedge jetty off Bolsa Chica. You know, good numbers of legals for those guys in, like, the 24 to 30 inch. And uh, this time of year, I got a lot of fish move into those estuaries, the inlets, and the bays, and and moving south, just some phenomenal fish caught. 37-inch, 20-pound fish caught in Newport Harbor there. Oh, man. Orange big hammer in the bay smelt color, of course. And then Pacific Coast and Oceanside reported last week three fish over 30 pounds out of the lagoons and inlets. And this week, three fish over 25 pounds Jeez, out of the lagoons and crazy. inlets. The smell bite is just red hot right now. You know, the tide's cranking, full moon, lots of bait moving in there, grunting in tight to the beach. Some of the grunting will run inside the bays at times, too, putting that bait inside there, drawing those big hens and uh, phenomenal fishing, man. I, I, uh, I don't know if I can remember this big fish coming out of those lagoons. Carlsbad in particular was just dredged this winter, so lots of water moving through there, and I guess that smelt's just lined up in there, and the guys float to kayak shore. They're getting them all different ways there. So i got to ask you this, going back to uh, the, the beginning part of your uh, report with the striper. Is the striper from the surf, is that the holy grail fish? Is it a legal sea bass? Like, What is the, what is the highest sought after? Is it a big spot fin? Is it a big corb? What's the, what's the holy grail of, of surf, surf bites? Gosh, you know, it, 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 you got your hardcore perch guys. Like uh, Del Marsh will tell you it's that three-pound three hard perch he talks the most about, you know. For a halibut guy, I'd say a 20-pound halibut. And then the guy, yeah, if, if you like striped bass and if you want, if you target one and you're able to land a striped bass, that's something to be said. All you know? time. And, and putting a 14-pounder in your bag uh, anyway is, is a, just a fantastic that's catch cool. out of the surf. Super cool. Gundy, what a great report. Glad to hear that there's such good surf fishing going on, both from Big Perch up above and that crazy halibut fishing down in the southern latitudes. Boy, a, a very, very complete one. Sure, appreciate it, and appreciate you always taking the time to compile such great information. Yeah, I get a kick out of it. I imagine Mission Bay, San Diego Bay, there's going to be some big hen halibut in there, too. Something to do this week. Good call, Gundy. Appreciate it. Great right, report. Guys, thanks for, week, thanks for hanging, man. Job, man. I, I appreciate it, Gundy, very much. Talk to you next week. Appreciate that. Hey, let's continue on with our catch report. We're going to go live to the Eclipse. Captain Adam is on the line. What's up, Adam? Hey, guys. Good morning. How are we doing this morning? We're doing excellent. Uh, definitely stoked to hear that the Eclipse is out doing the uh, doing the, the work. You know, those early season trips are so important to getting things rolling, and we're excited to hear that you guys went out and uh, and did some fishing. How's it going? It's going well. Uh, we're on the second day of our two-day trip, or two-and-a-half-day trip, actually. More like it. Uh, we're actually fishing Clemente now, but we fished offshore all day yesterday, and uh we definitely had an interesting day. Uh, caught some bluefin in U- U.S. waters. We actually had one bluefin, and uh, we caught two yellowfin tuna. One of them was about 40 pounds. I'd call it 42. No uh, way! Yeah, yeah. We had a nice little school pop up. It was boiling around the boat like uh, yellowfin should. And yeah, we only had our one bait fish, but you know, nonetheless, 40 pound yellowfin tuna yesterday. Adam, how exciting is that? So both lo- both U.S. waters, yellowfin and bluefin tuna yesterday aboard the Eclipse. Yep, yep, about 70 miles from home. So a little, little, ways, little ways out there, but, uh, you know, our guys were pretty jazzed yesterday. It was an exciting day. Adam, congratulations on that. What a great score. And like I said, it's uh, that's what's so rewarding about those early season trips is it's it's difficult, I'm sure, for you as a captain. There's not a lot of coverage. You know, there's not a lot of guys to work with. But you went out and, you know, looked at your water charts and decided which direction you were going to point the bow, and you made it work. And I just, hats off, man. That's an awesome catch. Congratulations. Yeah, I appreciate that, guys. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, we do have uh, exploratory trips coming up as well. Um, weekend after next, we got a two-day shark bait sponsor trip. I think the first twenty guys get a first twenty guys to sign up get a some kind of gift package. Awesome uh, from shark bait, and uh, yeah, we're on another day and a half uh, this coming weekend. So, see, we see. I think we're going to be fishing offshore. Um, yeah, we definitely had to work for it yesterday, but ended up paying off. Adam, that's great news. Way to get things started. Just uh, I know that you guys were the ones that got the elephant started last year, and it seems as the con- the uh, the tradition is continuing. Great job on uh, both yellowfin and bluefin. I wish you continued success at Clemente. Hopefully, you can add some yellowtail to the fish hold as the day rolls on today. All right, thanks, guys. We'll appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day there. Adam, great job. Appreciate that. One more time, if you can, give us the phone number or the information if somebody wants to book that upcoming trip or any of the great uh, trips aboard the Eclipse Commander, anything that uh, you guys are doing there. Yeah, if, uh, if you guys want to jump on this weekend or on, on the uh, Shark Bay trip next weekend, just book directly on our website, or you can call uh, 619-995-6880 or uh, com. Great job, Adam. Congratulations. First yellowfin of the season on the sport boat, up to 42 pounds. Bluefin, yellowfin, it's going on in U.S. waters. Great job, and we'll talk to you next week. All right, thank you, boys. Adam, appreciate that. Congratulations there. Way to get things rolling. That's going to wrap up our catch report today. Exciting news, very complete. And when we come back, we got another full hour of Let's Talk Cookup coming your way, including a big block of your phone calls. You stay tuned. Lots of Let's Talk Cookup coming your way on the mighty 1090. Here's important news from Searcher Sport Fishing. Our 2015 schedule is now available at searchersportfishing.com. This is Captain Art Taylor. After an outstanding 2014 season, I promise our trips will fill fast. The Searcher offers great service, awesome food, air-conditioned cabins, an RSW system to preserve your catch and plenty of room at the rail. Call Celia at 619-226-2403. That's 619-226-2403. Or book online today at Search. SearcherSportFishing.com. Imagine being home in the morning and fishing yellowtail and calicos at Cedros Island by the afternoon. Now you can with Cedros Adventures. Experience world-class yellowtail and calico fishing aboard comfortable pongas with local captains that know the island hotspots. Stay in Cedros Adventures' own private waterfront hotel and experience first-class meals and service with pickups in L.A., Orange, or San Diego County. You hop aboard a scheduled flight to Cedros Island to begin an incredible experience. Experience. Trips are all inclusive and offer old world hospitality and fantastic fishing. Cedros Adventures. Call 310 435 6353 or check cedrosadventures.com for rates and more information. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's son. Sons Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer Resorts have become a destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting vanwarmerresorts.com and when you're ready to book it's quick and easy or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information Van Warmer Resorts the East Cape's finest you're listening to the home of the Padres oh my gosh this club is playing fantastic baseball San Diego's sports leader the mighty 1090 Information is the key to success, and inside information is even better. When it comes to fishing, inside information is critical, and that's what FishDope.com delivers. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and save fuel. FishDope.com is the only SST service with a satellite oceanographic PhD on board, the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com boasts the largest 
largest code group anywhere, covering sport boats, commercial boats, and private boaters. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, good luck. Membership costs less than 40 gallons of gas for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, stay tuned for the special code to save $20 on a Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Fisherman's Landing has been the choice of sport fishing anglers for decades with the largest fleet of long-range boats worldwide. Complemented by Southern California's finest charter and open party fleet. Now is the time to book your long-range trips and charters, plus half-day trips aboard the Dolphin. Go to Fisherman'sLanding.com and see trip availability and even book your trip online. Stop by or call Fisherman's Landing in San Diego and book now at Fisherman'sLanding.com. Are you as excited about spring fishing as I am? The water stayed warm all winter, which which means it's shaping up to be one of the best seasons ever to get out on the water. It's also shaping up to be one of the best seasons ever to visit your Ford dealer. The all-new F-150s are starting to roll in. With over 100 new patents, it's guaranteed to be a game changer. The new Mustang also has everyone buzzing. You've got to check it out. And the new Fusion, Focus, and Escape are better than ever. Fuel efficient and loaded with technology. There's as much interest in these new Fords as there is in spring fishing. In fact, Ford was the most searched automotive brand on Google last year. And once again, it's America's best-selling brand based on 2014 calendar year sales, which makes Ford the brand more people search, buy, and buy 